Welcome back, first graders. Happy Friday. Um, I'm so excited to teach you your third lesson for this week. Well, let's get started. Um, some of the materials that you will need are your writing journal, your word wall, and a pencil. It's going to be extremely important that you use a pencil and an eraser today because we're going to be doing some extra writing work with it today. Our writing goal, I can edit my writing. I can share my writing to my family or friends. I'm going to repeat that one more time. I can edit my writing. I can share my writing to my family or friends. Please take a second to think about that and I want you to repeat it back to me in three, okay? One, two, three. Perfect, we are ready to move on. Here we go. Well, we're gonna be editing our writing today. We're gonna check our work. We're gonna check our letters, our capitals, our punctuation, our spelling, um, and asking ourselves if our writing makes sense, okay? So let's go ahead and grab our piece of writing from Wednesday um, that we have been working on. You have added your opinion. You should have four reasons um, explaining why your food is the worst food, and you should have your closing sentence, okay? So we're gonna take that piece of writing and we are going to reread it so we can look for mistakes and ask ourselves, does our writing make sense? So I'm gonna go ahead and reread my writing right now. Mushrooms are the worst food. It is chewy and sticks to your teeth. It tastes like clams. I don't like clams either. Mushrooms have dark spots. They are slimy. That is why mushrooms are the worst food you can eat. After rereading my writing, I think I have identified some mistakes that I have already. Um, I noticed that in my first reason I gave, I said you instead of your. So I'm going to highlight this word because I know I'm gonna go back and add the R um, to my piece of writing to fix that. And I also noticed um, a punctuation missing at the end here at my closing sentence. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that period there. You can see it in the red. This is why mushrooms are the worst food. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw an arrow so you can see where my period needed to go at the end of my writing that was missing. And I'm gonna go back and add the R to my your here to make sure that I correct that spelling. After editing your writing for any misspellings, punctuation, capitals, and asking yourself if it makes sense, then you can sketch an illustration that matches your words. Here in my writing, you can tell that I have already sketched a picture um, or illustration to match the words, okay? After sketching, make sure that you add labels so that you let us know what's in your illustration. Add speech bubbles if you are speaking in your illustration. Add thought bubbles if you're thinking about something. Um, in my sketch, I went ahead and you can see that I labeled everything, like the cabinets, the clock, the table, the stove. Um, I did add a speech bubble here in my sketch in blue. I decided to say, ew. Okay, that's what I said because that's part of my um, sketch. So remember, add your labels to identify those pieces in your sketch. Add any speech bubbles if you're saying something. Miss Tapia here is saying ew because there are some mushrooms on my plate. And as you know, mushrooms are the worst food for me. So when you have edited your writing and sketched out an illustration, now it's time to make it look beautiful. Use crayons or markers to color your sketch. Um, make sure that you take your time and that it's neat and organized for you to present it at the end. A part of our goal is that we were going to share our writing today. And so I would like you to share your writing with your family um, or friends that live with you at home. Remember to stand tall, 
use your level two or three voice so that your family members can hear you and feel proud of the hard work that you did in writing this week. Oh my goodness, first graders, you have done so much work this week as writers. I am beyond proud. You should feel very proud of yourselves. Kiss your brain. Um, the last thing that I would like you to do is think about what you learned in writing this week. Um, and you can share this with a family member, your pet, or your stuffy by using the sentence stem, I learned. There was lots of things that we did this, this past week, so think about what you learned and what you would like to share with your family. Friends, I'm so proud of you once again. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. See you all on Monday.